anyway, today we're changing the um, FEP. Um, I have uh, this N FEP film by EPAX. Uh, really expensive to get, in, especially in Canada. Thank you for that. It's like fifty. Five dollars for three sheets is the cheapest I could get it. I think in the states it's like thirty-five bucks. Like if you get like thirty-five, like once you translate to Canadian, even if you do the translation. Anyway, um, so I've already I took all the screws out of here. This popped out, and then I took all the uh, screws. Once you lift this out, you take all the screws off here. Um, that is pretty self-explanatory. So I do not think anybody should need help with that. Anyway, this is my um, old FEP. I have three of these vats, and this was probably my best one. I've never replaced the FEP before. It was actually pretty good, except if you'll notice here, there was a failed print that I unfortunately did not notice. Um, everything else printed fine, just one small piece didn't print, and it was left floating in the uh, in the vat and so when it came down it just there's not a hole it didn't puncture the FEP and it didn't damage the screen but uh, and I mean you could probably still use this probably could have been usable just as long as you didn't print on that area it's also kind of like a scratch there it's weird I don't know what that's from and then it looks like there's a kind of a line of me scratching at it oh there's another dent over here it's pretty decent little dent there and uh, I mean this may look foggy to you as well but that's I think actually mostly just the um, doesn't really affect anything uh, I use the WD-40 FE what is it called? Uh, PTFE dry lube specialist dry lube right lube your FEP with this WD-40 specialist uh, dry lube uh, PTFE lube um, Teflon apparently was also an option. I just don't like Teflon, and I don't want it around, so I went with the PCFE. So I'm gonna throw this one out. So that is garbage, and um, get the new FEP. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the lube with the new screen, new film or not. It's hard to say because this is supposed to be a different kind of film. And let's see, as you can see here, it's uh. Then some foam, and then and then there's in the foam. Anyway, oh yeah, it seems like we got some residue. Good thing this is in the bag. So we have this side goes towards your vat, or well, like that. But we're gonna do it the other way because we need these little countersunk screw holes with these screws to seal our FEP. Okay, well, pull the plastic off if you've got one that requires the plastic to be pulled off. I'm going in. To me, it looks like... Okay, so line up all the holes. Oops. Line up all the holes, and then it says to punch the holes with something sharp. You want to make sure you don't mess up the alignment. I'm just going to do two to start. And then these are flat. Heavy screws, so they won't punch super easily through this. But yeah, there it goes. Once it starts, it'll be fine. Get one.
There's a slight defect right there in the center, but hopefully it's not too big of a problem. Or a problem at all. Anyway, and now that we are for sure everything is lined up, I'm going to poke. Careful. Don't poke that. I feel like doing it just to show you this stupid thing to do. I just did. So right here I'm just putting the screws into the frame. I'm um, going like left to right, top and bottom, kind of just mixing it up. Um, that's not really a big issue for this style of vat. Um, this isn't where you're putting tension on the FEP. So you could actually just go from one side to the other side. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, when you are doing the installation of this piece onto what I have the red piece here, that's when you want to do the differential tightening from side to side. And now I think some vats, because the instructions on this film say to do the tightening as you're installing it, I think some vats, the ring just stretches the FEP right over here as you tighten it down and for those vats you definitely want to use the left to right uh, motion as you're tightening it like left right um, you know top bottom just go random right that seals still okay now this um, Okay, this is definitely actually a point where you want to be even more careful with your differential tightening. Probably actually didn't matter before at all. Using like the groove as like a guide here. Okay, extra and garbage. Put that away. Do not drop on the MVP. Now. So here is where we're stretching the FEP over the the lip of the vat, and that's where you want to be um, very careful with not screwing one side down fully before the other side screwed down. So you want to do like maybe halfway on one side, halfway on the other, you know, left and right, top and bottom, and then go around and tighten them again. As you'll see, I'm going around again and giving them each like the final tighten, but still kind of have a left to right pattern. Hopefully this NFEP does what it's supposed to and uh, less peeling force for models because I mean as you can see right there this is the um, this is the issue I have um, that that's the peeling force right so as you can see this was printed at a little bit of an angle and it just something happened and it doesn't seem it seems like right when it got around to probably connecting the front that's when it I don't know, the peeling force has changed that drastically and it stopped or it, it broke off. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it printed fine upwards at that point and below it, it printed fine, but at kind of an angle. But it was also connected to the support or maybe it was a little bit pulled off the support here, but you can see there's marks for all the supports still. So I don't know what happened, but since I had to replace the FEP anyway, and FEP. 
Here it is, the EFAX 3D and FEP film. Which I did not peel anything off of, so hopefully it doesn't have anything on it to peel. Here, I've got the scrap. that I cut through, but I am not. No, I'm not, not getting anything. Cool.